Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in, and today what I've got here is a 2002 3 quarter ton Chevy pickup. It's got the 6.6 Duramax engine in it, and got an issue with it getting in a reduced power mode or a limp mode, whatever you may think it falls under anyways. But what's happening is you get going, and as soon as you start putting your foot in it a little bit, try and take off, um, it check engine light kicks right on, and it shuts down to... Uh, you know, quarter power maybe, uh, speed reduced to about 25 miles an hour. And uh, what we're getting for trouble codes here, uh, at least the most reoccurring is a P1261, and that is injector positive control circuit group one. And so from there, I also had, and I'll let you guys, this is what I had for trouble codes on here when I first got the truck. Um, mass airflow sensor and then injector control circuit for one four six and seven and then the 1261 and also had a u1000 down there so um, but anyways if you uh, hop on all data and you follow the diagnostic chart for the 1261 um, it tells you that you're gonna see the one four six and seven pop up if that 1261 uh, shows and that for the uh, Procedure it just says as long as there's no Misfires or not misfires, but control circuit codes for two three five or eight Then you just replace the fuel injection control module and so I went ahead and did that and Then the truck fired up and ran I didn't have to program it fortunately But it did fire up and run and it took it down the road and it did the exact same thing so from there uh, then I actually got just a couple of trouble codes to pop up. That's not what I'm looking for. There we go. And so after I got the module on, I was only left with injector seven control circuit and injector positive control circuit group one. So with that then, I knew that I had at least done something. I'm not exactly sure what. And when I had looked at that fuel injection control module the first time, what I had come up with on it was that it was missing. What I had come up with on it was that it was missing a plug right here. And so I naturally just thought that probably some water got in there and that made sense with, uh, like I say, the code that I was getting. Put that over here. So anyways, from there I was able to just go ahead, I did a resistance check on all the injectors, just static, sitting here warm, and they were all identical resistance. Did a wiggle check on the harness, and had no change at all on the, on the, well I had a test light there that I was using, and there was no flicker or anything like that in my test light when I was moving all the harness around, everything stayed lit. So from there I determined it must have a bad injector and probably number seven and something going on there and so pulled down to look at it see if we needed injector what's going on here and we got a loose connection right there on number seven injector so let me see if i can set this camera up just right there's a light here here so we just had a loose connection right there the whole while I'm willing to bet And right there is our bad fuel injector. I did end up replacing it, so there was nothing left really to bite on there. That thing had just kind of vibrated, I assume, to the point where all those threads were gone. And so anyways, got that uh, put in there, and that took care of all the trouble codes and everything. So was good to go, so that may be an issue you're having. 
um, anyways. So we're just popping that valve cover off and checking to see if those are tight, if you have a similar code, and that may be your issue.